and as usual on a Sunday, wherever you want to start, let's let's just take a couple of moments somewhere nice and peaceful, or whether that's on the back or whether you want to stay upright, somewhere that feels a little bit more restful. And if you haven't already, just allow the whole weight of the body to be supported. So entire weight of the body just sinks down onto, into the ground. If it feels easy to close your eyes, then go ahead. Otherwise, there's just that little soft gaze. And then just start to lengthen out the breath. It's still really, really easy and free, but it's just starting to get longer and wider. And then keep that length of breath, but decide where you want to direct the breath. So it might be that you pop hands on belly and you just feel the breath move the belly. It might be that you take the rib cage out wide. So you feel the ribs expand out laterally, left and right. Or you might imagine the breath and direct the breath towards the back of your body. So really spreading out. And then gently, if you haven't already found a seat, very slowly, very gently, make your way up to a seated position, wherever is mostly comfortablest for you. And then all we're going to do is very, very gentle gormakasana, very gentle cow. And you can go as soft and kind of jellified as you want. You don't have to go full on cow. So as we inhale, we take the arms wider. And as we exhale, both elbows bent, one elbow to the sky, one elbow, yeah, and just soft, just soft, see how it feels. And then inhale as we stretch it out a little bit. And exhale as we re-bend. I thought a pigeon had come into the kitchen there. Kitchen? Lounge. A sparrow did come into the utility room yesterday and both me, me and Merlin were in there. We we're both like, whoa! It managed to find its way out, thank goodness. Inhale. Exhaling. And just one more on each side and maybe you might just start to edge a little bit more stretchy, maybe. And then we add on to this flow here. So as we exhale, make a little stop sign, take the chest forward. Feel free to wiggle whenever you want. And as we inhale, once again, cow face arms, form and cast arms, but this time that top arm, that top hand is resting on the back of the, on the back of the neck. So you've got a bit of connection there. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry about which one, please just, yeah. And then as you exhale, there's just that flexing forward and you feel the muscles in the neck just start to lengthen. On an inhale, push in through the hands for the muscles in the neck work to take you back up. And then your exhale, see us back at the start, chest forward, arms and stop signs, wiggling wherever we need. Inhale, other elbow up, 
Formicasana, hand to the back of that neck, a soft little grip. Exhale as we just flex forward. And inhale, we push into the hands to lift and rise. Exhale, back to those stop signs, chest comes forward. If you feel like it, maybe gaze a little bit up. And then inhale, elbow up, elbow down. Yeah, find the back of the neck. Exhale, as you just encourage the body to flex. And then inhale, push into the hand to lift back up. Exhale, we're back to the start, maybe looking up a little bit, it feels all right in the neck. And then inhale, last side. Exhale, hand to the back of the neck. Inhale as we push back up. Oh, really nice. This time as you exhale, just let the arms drop by your side and have a little check in through the shoulders. Anything that needs to happen, let it. And then we've got these side bent sits and bent knee sits, and we're gonna add on in a minute. So for now, just really familiar positions. Bent knee seat to start. Yeah, we'll get some space there. And then as we exhale, side bent sit. Oh, you can go as speedy or as not speedy as you want. On an inhale, push down through the legs so you can come up through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, take a twist. Inhale. Bend knee sit. Really nice. Exhale, side bend sit. Yeah, up to you the speed, good. On the inhale, we push down through feet, through hips, so that we lift up through the crown. There's that space, lovely. And then that soft exhale, twist. Inhale, bend knee sit. Exhale, side bend sit. Inhale, that push down, that press down. And exhale, that gentle twist. Inhale, bend knee sit. And you'll find, as usual, we're walking kind of towards wherever we're heading. Exhale, to bend knee sit, side bend sit. Inhale, push, lift. Exhale, twist. Good. This one's different. Same shape with the legs, but we're gonna move them from the hip flexors rather than the sit bones. Hopefully it will make sense when we start to do it. So if you come into a bent knee sit just as normal, and we're gonna come into a side bent sit, but we're gonna come into it by lifting the legs off the ground. So to do this, lean back a little bit so you're almost in a start of chair Navasana. And then you can take the legs off the ground, Good. And then have a little play and come into side bend sit. Yeah. Take your time because I know we haven't done this before. Lean back. Float the legs off. Yeah. And then side bend sit. Oh, really nice. Good. Keep on going. When and if it feels familiar, and it might not this time around, but when and if it feels familiar, you can start using the breath. So you can exhale as you come into that side bend sit and then inhale to come into the middle. Really nice, they look good. Keep going and so you can get a little bit slower with it. A little bit more control, don't worry if it goes a little bit wriggly. Good, really nice. Once more on the other side, let me look. Nice, really nice. Looks nice for you, really good. So core is really having to work to stabilize us. Nice. Concentration is lovely, Lou. Oh, and then gratefully pop the hands down and just cat cow. Just cat cow. And again, if you want to wiggle in your cat cow, so this whole practice, especially after what we've done on Friday, this whole practice, if a wiggle or a 
movement needs to happen. Just, just let it happen. We don't have to be really static. Good. And take two or three more cat cows. And as you do, just notice how upper body is feeling. In a minute, we're gonna come into a down dog and plank, but for now we're in cat cow and just see how that feels in your body. When you next find yourself in that cow position, as you exhale, just bring your belly a little bit up so you're a bit more in neutral. And come into a plank on an inhale, soft and gentle. Has anyone ever said come into a soft and gentle plank? <laughs> no. And then exhale, drop the knees one at a time. Good. Inhale, come into a high child. So just sit the hips back. You'll not wrestle the whole way, yeah. Toes are tucked so that as you exhale, you can press into the feet to lift you up into a down dog. So try and keep the weight as far back as you possibly can as we lift up, really lovely. And then inhale once again, back into a plank. Exhale as the knees pop down. Inhale as we find the hips going towards the heels, the toes are tucked, ready to push. And exhale, we push into the feet to lift up rather than the hands down facing forward. Three more times, inhale through to a plank. Exhale, knees down. Inhale, high child's. Exhaling, down facing dog. Good, very nice. Last two. And on these last two, each time you come up to that down dog, just try and keep the knees from wobbling. Good. Lovely, sit it back, nice. Take a look at the knees if you want and then try and keep them from moving left and right. Yep, push into the feet, nice, good. I like the hover length, I like the speed. And then last one, so really focused. And when you next find yourself in that downward facing dog, and don't let me rush you, you can have a little stay there. You can have a little play with your feet. You can have a little switcheroo with the hips. You might take your arms a little bit wider and just let the head hang. You might bend the elbows. And then as you inhale, look towards the front of your mat. And then as you exhale, forward foot. Inhale, come up flat back. Exhale, Ukutasana chair pose. Okay. Inhale, press and lift. I think I need to adjust my camera. And exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, take the arms up, the feet wider. And exhale, sit yourself back in Malasana if it's comfortable this morning. Otherwise, you come into a uh, chair or you come into a forward fold. Malasana doesn't have to be part of it. Wherever you are on the inhale, feel the feet. And as you exhale, push back, lift up. Oh. Inhale, once again, we sweep the arms up. And exhale, chair pose or Malasana. Good. If you're just getting started with Malasana, you're welcome to keep your hands inside so you can press the knees out and then exhale to come back up again. Inhale as the arms change and then exhale, chair or Malasana. Really lovely. Inhale at the bottom, whatever it is you're doing. And exhale that lovely little forward fold. If it feels nice, and maybe you're always straight in your legs in forward fold, 
Maybe today you keep a soft bend in it. Yeah, just for variety's sake. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Katasana, chair pose. Inhale as the feet press and the arms lift. And exhale, hands into the heart center. Inhale, we take the arms up and adjust the feet. Really good. Exhale, hips go back wherever it is you're doing. Malasana or chair, hips go back, really nice. Keep the core engaged, move X as well. Yep, yeah, really nice. And then wherever you are at the bottom, yes, that's fine, stay there. And then exhale to come up. Don't make your knees unhappy. <laughs> Whenever it is that you next exhale, chair or melasma. You want your knees to be fine for today. You need to be happy, whatever it is that they're doing. Inhale at the bottom, finding the feet. And exhale, push back, lift up. Last one, inhale that lovely high reach. Feel free, actually. Let's stay here for a second and just have a little climb. Oh, yeah, getting into the sides of the waist, having just a little brief pause. Oh, it's so nice. And then that wave of inhale, once again, sweeps and extends the arms. And then you come down in the last one. Good. Are you right, Lou W? Inhale as the arms go forward. We're in a forward fold when you're ready, Lou. <laughs> forward fold, nice. We've got lots of flow to start with. The first one is just nice and simple. Inhaling as we pause. Exhale, right leg back, just a runner's lunge, so go long with it. <laughs> Inhale, float the arms up. And exhale, ooh, almost went short. Downward facing back. Inhale, right leg sweeps up, three legs. Exhale, back into that runners, just where we came from, yeah. Inhale as we lift the arms up, connect with the center and look forward. And exhale that float forward into a forward fold, nice and slow, really, really slow that down. Inhale as we pause. Exhale, long runners, step all the way back, long runners. Inhale as you take the arm off from the floor. Good, nice feet. Exhale, limp down. Inhale, left leg sweeps up way high. And exhale, take it through. Runners lunge again. Inhale, take the hands off. Look forward. And find the balance through that front leg. Exhaling. Forward forward, nice. First flow done. Inhale, we have that little celebratory salute. Flat back. Exhale, chair pose. You can always keep your hands on your legs. I find that really nice. If I want a bit of a break. Inhale, take the arms up. And exhale, hands find their way into the heart center. Where's my son gone? Inhale, take it up. There's still sun in Hurtsman Zoo, Elaine. Look, Louise has still got sun. Exhale. It's gone from Hausham. <laughs> Inhale, take the arms through. And exhale, forward fold. Inhaling as you pause. Maybe bending the knees as well, just for a variety. On an exhale, take the right leg back, galloping horse, Oof, arms by the ears. So left leg is forward, Lou, right leg is back, galloping horse. Plenty of time. Good. On the inhale, we take it into a locust, chest is forward, maybe gazing up. And as we exhale, harder move her down and face again. Inhale, as we slide the weight into plank, and we come back into that little starting position that we were in when we warm up. Exhale as we drop the knees. Keeping the toes tucked, inhale, child. And exhale, pushing through the feet to lift up through the legs, downward facing dog. Inhale as you look forward. 
and exhale, step forward, forward fast. Oh. Same thing on the other side, inhale and exhale, galloping horse, really long, really slow. But this fell over. Good. Yes, really nice. On the inhale, we do that little back bend, it's like focus on top. Yeah, maybe the gaze is up as well. Take the arms a little bit closer together, Lewis, behind you. Yeah, so you get a little bit more space in the chest. And then exhale, other movement. Inhaling through to a plank. Exhaling, knees find earth. Inhaling, set the hips back. And then commit to no wobbling of the knees. Keep the weight back as you exhale, down facing dog. Yeah, that looks, oh yes, lovely, really nice, good. Inhale, look forward. And exhale, stroll forward. Maybe take the leg that doesn't normally walk forward first, maybe. Inhale, once again, flat back, two flows, done. Exhale, just uh, 78 to go. Chair pose. Inhale, <laughs> lift all the way up. Exhaling. I think I did miss some as well, Fred. I think I miscounted on some. Hands into the heart. Inhale. Take the arms up. Just one malasana. You don't have to either. If your malasana and hips are back, always engaged. Oh. At the bottom, there's rest. And then exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, that lovely long pause. Knees can be bent again. Exhale, right leg back, right knee down. Take as much time as you want. Low lunge. Inhale as we sweep up. And exhale, take a twist toward that front leg. You can make the twist active. You can make it a little bit sloped, whatever makes sense. Inhale, as once again, the fingers reach straight up. And exhale, the first chaturanga of the day, downward facing dog. Inhale, as we slide forward into a plank, dropping the knees, and exhale, all the way down. And more bellies. Inhale, grateful not to be a wonky grass, locust. <laughs> Suddenly we can lift, we're like, what is this? I've got movement, it's locust. Exhale all the way down. <laughs> Inhale, adjust the hands. And exhale, up and back, down facing dog. Now, if you feel like it, have a little, before you, before you think about it, have a little bounce through the feet and just notice how you feel. If the bouncing feels fine, then maybe you look forward on the inhale and you jump on the exhale, or like me, you just might stroll forward once again, finding your way, being careful of feline friends, forward fold. Inhaling as you pause. Exhale, left leg back, low lunge. Inhale as we take the arms all the way up. And exhale, we decide it can be an active twist or it can just be a really gentle, floppy twist. Inhale, once again, the fingers go towards the sky. And exhale, downward facing dog. I'm going to take a tabletop instead. Inhale, through to a plank. And as you exhale, elbows bend, touch around you. Inhale, locust. Good. Well, Enzo is going to get on your back there, Fee. Really nice. Nice arms a little bit closer together as well, there. Lovely. And then all the way down. Ooh. Inhale to take the arms behind and underneath the shoulders. And exhale, push yourself up. Down facing dog or indeed a tabletop. I'm going to omit them. Yeah. Once again, you have a little check in with springy feet, springy legs, and see how you feel. 
And you choose that walk forward or hop forward. If you're walking forward, walk with the leg that doesn't want to normally go forward. Oh, nice. Ah. And then inhale, three flows done, complete. It's only just 10. Exhale, chair pose. That means we can do nothing for the rest of the Sunday. Inhale, all the way up. Samastiti. Exhale as the hands find their way into your heart center. Inhale, take the arms up and those feet adjust. And exhale, chair or Uttanasana or Malasana. Whatever's making sense. Whatever's making sense. Inhale, as you find the feet wherever they are. And exhale, you forward fold. Okay. Inhale, straight back plank. Straight back. Exhale, onto belly, chaturanga. Inhale, we're still locusting, lifting the legs. Really nice. Too loose, I can't see anything, it's really annoying. Hoping those locusts are amazing. Exhale as you come back down. Yeah. Inhale as the hands come underneath the shoulders. So you can exhale down. Perfect. This one's a little different. So those of you that have missed some of the Sundays, from a down dog, we come into a gate pose. So maybe just in your mind's eyes, imagine what a gate looks like, and we'll just go through it slowly. So on our inhale, the right leg comes up into a three-legged. Nice. Good. As we exhale, that right knee comes into our chest. As we move about halfway, so my weight is halfway, we land the knee, and we take the foot off the mat. That means, if you're already in it, just have a little um, practice here. That means that we can come into gate from here. And then lift that straight leg. Come into the fingertips of the hand, really nice. And then from here, we're gonna come into runner's lunge. So if you need a bit more space in front of you, like I do, so get a wall, go for it. So all we're gonna do is whip this straight leg round, and as soon as that foot lands, lift the knee. And I've kept one hand down for balance. Lovely. Once you're oriented, you can exhale. Oh, thank you, wall, into your warrior three from here. Yes. Good, if you're outside, it's gonna be a... good. And then from warrior three, tree pose. Yes. You can keep your hands into the heart center and push the palms together into prayer and it'll give you a little bit more core connection, really nice. Lovely. And then from here, just slide the foot down until it meets the floor, finding a curve of the calf. And then two feet on the floor, your hips a little bit of a spin. And then go ahead, soft knees as you fully fold. Inhale, straight back, plank. Or tabletop whenever you need. I will get to that bit. Drop onto your knees and onto Chaturanga. Inhale, last locus of the class. Lift the legs up, lift the chest up. Really good. A little tiny bit higher before we say goodbye to locus. And then all the way down, release. Inhale as the hands come underneath. And as you exhale, that push up. Press back, now we're facing dog. Really nice. Inhale, left leg lifts, three legged. So it comes underneath you, land the knee, and spin the foot so it's outside of the mat, which means you can open up the hips, take the top arm up, gate pose. Really nice. Lift the straight leg so it's skyward. Good. 
float the fingertips so maybe you're on one or two fingertips good center of the body allow it to support you and then look forward as you inhale whip it forward runner's lunge good take your time just to work out where you are so let the brain kind of catch up with what the body just did once you're ready here we're dressing the three warrior three Lovely. Your head still, your eyes still. And then slowly, softly, tree pose, Brittasana. Firm up a little bit through the right glute. Nice hands come into prayer so you've got that strong centered um, position. And then just gently allow the foot to run down the inside seam. Press the leg until both feet are on the ground. And you work out whatever we've done up. All right. In a minute, same flow. When we get to our warrior three, rather than coming from warrior three to tree, we're gonna to come to warrior three. From here, we're going to grab hold of the toe and come up hand to toe balance. Essentially, so everything else is the same, it's just that last bit we're going to grab the foot. For now, we're folding with bent knees, maybe mouth is open as we start the next round. On our inhale, once again, plank. As we exhale, knees drop, or they don't have to if you don't feel like you need to do, but you come onto your belly. We can keep the hands exactly as they are, or they can go a little bit wider. And on an inhale, cobra. If they go wider, it's a bit gentler on your back. In your cobra, imagine taking your chest through a gap in your arms. And then exhale, you lower it back down. Whoa. Keep the hands there, inhaling as they press. And as you exhale, downward facing dog or tabletop. Same start, inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee through, gate pose. Inhale as that straight leg lifts a little bit higher, a little bit higher. Really work through those outside. <clears throat> hips good and then fingertip if you can maybe you're just on one finger now as you inhale look forward and as you exhale it's a swift movement Oof. inhale as we just figure out where it is where we are rather and exhale warrior three plenty of time don't let me rush that Yes, lovely feet, so nice. Turn the hip a tiny bit, blue W, a tiny bit. Yes, good, good. And then from here, we're gonna think about coming up to stand, keeping the floaty leg floaty. And whenever we can, bending and taking hold of the toe. Once we've got the toe pushing in, so pressing the toe into the fingers and then just straightening the leg until it won't straighten anymore, which might be here. But keep the back upright really nice. Yes, good, stay there. Lovely, Lou, that's really nice. Keep the center a little bit engaged and then drop that blooming foot down. Oh. Two feet on the ground. If you want a little twist and a little Connection with hands, that's almost so nice. Yeah. And actually, before we do the other side, let's just have a little tapping break. You can move however you want, but just have a little tap. Front of the hip bones, yeah, sides of the hip bones, back of the hips, going down into the glutes, yeah. And no one's watching you, so if you want, you can be a little bit more kind of aggressive with the wax. These are big muscles, yeah. Unless you have with the family rounds and they're just kind of 
scoring your task. <laughs> nice. And then just come into stillness. Notice that there's an echo of that uh, of that sensation. There's an echo of the movement, an echo of the touch. And then for the last time, exhale. Inhale, just skip back into a plank. Oh, that's lovely. Drop the knees as we exhale onto our legs. Decide where you want your hands to be wider and slightly further forward will give you a less of a back bend, which is something nicer. And then inhale, come up, cobra. Elbows stay bent, they squiggle in. Chest comes to you. And then push the hands into the mat. And then drag the hands a bit closer to your hips. And then exhale all the way down. Inhale, adjust the hands so you feel you've got the maximum amount of power and push. And exhale, push back. Inhale, three-legged. Exhale, gate pose on the other side. As we inhale, that straight leg lifts and lifts. Good, and lifts. Outside of the hips, really, really asking for attention. And then we tip fingers. Maybe one finger stays down. <laughs> nice feet. <laughs> And then when you're ready, whip it, runner's lunge. So that knee comes up as soon as you can. And then take your time here, because we know it's a big balance. If you want to adjust, adjust. From runners, whenever you're ready, steady the hips, steady the feet. I like to go slow into it. I find myself into bear redressing three. Good. Good. I reckon that a foot can go to a bit higher, please. And then start to come to a stand, and as you do so, bend the floaty leg. Take the toe to the hand, hand to the toe. Once you've got the toe, just come back into a really strong standing position. And then push toe into fingers as you straighten the leg until it stops. Really nice. And then slowly, good. Really good. Hot foot down, both feet down. Have a little spin of the hips. And as you start just to slow the movement down, just allow the breath to slow. And if your nose isn't blocked, just keep the mouth closed as you let the breath settle. Very slowly, very, very gentle. Come on to your hips. And entirely up to you. We never have loads of time on Sunday. If you know where you want the body to be, please go there. If you know already. Otherwise, maybe we haven't done much side stretching. So maybe we come into a cross leg position. And maybe we gently walk the arms out a little bit and then take them off to one side. If we've got access, we can rest our head somewhere on that leg. If not, we can just be where that is coming. Out on that side stretch, you could stay in that side stretch, but just open up one of the arms and look to the opposite direction. Have a little twist. And then walk back into centre. Maybe if you walk back up to centre, you just take a little bit of a back extension before you come back in. So you might take the hands behind you, hands a little bit wider, chest comes forward.
and then dropping down, coming into a side stretch on the other hand side. And again, can you stop the head? Take the knee towards the head. If you've got a block, you can pop a block in between head and knee if it's not quite there. And you can stay in the side squat stretch for as long as you want, or the hands that's closest to your midline lifts. You just take it towards the opposite side and you have a little. And then pop it back down. Move the hands to the center. Lift back up. Maybe once again, that last little back bend, so taking the chest forward, you can bend the elbows so you can get a bit more space here. And then for the last two or three minutes, probably finding yourself with as much body connection onto the earth as you can. It might just be that you just want to lay long, reach into the feet, reach into the hands, it be long. It might be that you want to curl in. Whatever it is you choose, and I'll put myself on this. You can start just to encourage the breath to be a little bit, tiny bit more energetic. So taking deeper inhales. And if you're lucky enough to be outside, then really kind of smelling air of that inhale. But at some point, your body just feels more ready to move if you allow it to lift up gently and carefully into a seat. If you're already there, you might have a little sigh out, you might drop the shoulders, you might release the belly. And when you're ready, on an inhale, you lift everything up. And as you exhale, everything travels back down. Inhale as you grow, gap and experience. 
Excellent. You generally give it all back. Let me ask that I see you. Inhale, arms of the way up. And exhale into the heart center. Namaste.